friends and welcome back to another Pokemon Max Raid update video. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and in today's episode we're going to be discussing all of the new Pokemon that we've got available to us in the August Max Raid event. So with the turn of the month, we now have seen and said goodbye to the previous July Max Raid events that we had running, which were kind of like the ground steel and rock type theme with Rhyperia Steelix, G-Max Copperaja and G-Max Colossal running in that event. And now we have a turn, a new bunch of Pokemon that we can go and capture. I'm a little bit disappointed because I was kind of hoping for something a little bit more special than what we're getting. But saying that, there are some really good gem Pokemon that we can actually go out and catch that might otherwise be a little bit difficult. So first thing is first, before my Switch decides to go into sleep mode, we'll hop over to our trusty source over at Cerebi. And this is obviously the previous Max Raid event that was running. So you can see July, uh, June the 30th to the 31st, we went through this in our last update video. Um, but now the more important thing is the August one. What have we got here? So uh, the link to this Cerebi page will be down in the description below. Um, so yeah, you can see the event is going to be running from August the 1st to the 31st of August. So we've got the entire month here. Like I said, don't get too disheartened if you're not really, really that into this event with these, this mix of Pokemon. There hopefully will be special events uh, running throughout August and uh, on top of this. So um, if you are holding out for those, make sure that you do hit that subscribe button and the notification bell because I will make sure to cover these events as soon as they do drop. But getting into this month's event Pokemon, you can see that the one stars here, we're starting with Pokemon Sword. So the one stars, these are for the use, though, those of you out there that have just started your game or maybe haven't completed your gyms yet. So you've still got access to these one star raids. Uh, you've got Tutel, Phoebus, Wooper, Silicobra, Hippotus. I'm just going to call it the Hippo. Uh, and Shellos. So uh, there you go. No real items to kind of shout about here. All kind of generic items that you can see there. Now the next line is the two star raids. And this is kind of interesting because for normally two star raids, you don't get access to maybe the more rarer Pokemon that are available in dens. Um, but from all accounts, and it will be interesting to test this to see if this is correct. But according to Cerebi's information here, the, the two star raids actually can produce a G-Max Dreadnought, which is very interesting and great for those of you that are just starting your playthroughs or very early on in the game. It means you can get a very powerful Pokemon very quickly, very easily. So uh, that's a, a very nice bonus for us. Then we've got Feebas, Quagsire, Silicobra, the Hippo again, and Gastrodon. So some like final Evo Pokemon for uh, two-star raids, which is really, really good. Uh, like I say, for those of you who are starting your game or very early on in your playthroughs. Um, next, going on to the three-star raids and above. These are going to be for the majority of you that have finished your um, finished the game, got all eight gym badges. You've got G-Max Dreadnought, then you've got Melotic, Quagsire, Sandaconda, Hippowden, and Gastrodon. Again, items, nothing to really shout about here. You've got Chance of Bottle Caps, Rare Candies, then you've got the Omarite Ore, uh, Dynamax Candies, and Level Up Candies. So, I mean, yeah, just the generic stuff, but always handy for training up these Pokemon. Moving on to the four-star raids, you got, again, G-Max Dreadnought, Melotic this time, Quagsire, G-Max, Sandaconda, Hippardon, and Gastrodon. Now, Melotic is an interesting one, and I think out of the whole bunch that we've got here, it's probably the one that I will be hunting because just it's a difficult Pokemon to catch uh, initially, obviously Feebas, and it's also uh, a very difficult Pokemon to evolve, so it makes it a lot easier getting it from a den, and having a, a promoted den with it available this month means it's really easy to to get a bunch of them and have ready to battle with so that's a really nice bonus for us i think um and then the five star raids that you can see nothing really changing here you got the g max dreadnought the melotic quagsire the g max sandaconda hippowden and gastrodon so g max dreadnought and g max sandaconda the the kind of more uh, mascot pokemon for this month um and then we'll move on to pokemon shield which i can say happily that everything that we've seen in Pokemon Sword is exactly the same in Pokemon Shield. So they're not doing any different Pokemon for either variation of the game. Um, now when the Max Raid Den events started, you know, you could see 
like different Pokemon available in different games, but there for the last couple of months, including this one, they are keeping the Pokemon exactly the same on both both titles so there we go they are all the pokemon that are available within august like i say i'm not overly thrilled with what we've got but i mean it's fine it's fine isn't it it's uh, it's not the worst thing in the world so once you're in the game if you want to get these updates what you do come over to mystery gifts and then in your your menu screen uh, and get wild area news we've been around this barbecue many times my friends but this is for the benefit of those new players and there's plenty of players that don't know how to do this so uh, new to the game so we'll just 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 entertain this for a minute it'll connect to the internet and then it will pop up with this message and then that is it your dens are now updated with the new promoted raid den so you can come across to a den in the game now these promoted raids will only appear in red beams. They will not be in the rarer purple beams. So the beams that look like this, which is on your screen right now, is where you'll find the promoted dens. They can appear randomly from dropping wishing pieces into dens and they will just spawn randomly around the wild area and the Isle of Armour. So if we click in here, already, would you guess, already got one set up. So it's a G-Max Dreadnought ready to go and um, we can just jump in and try and get it. Like I say, the, the one thing that I'm going to be looking forward to getting in this event is probably hunting for those Malotics. It is a bit more of a, an awkward one to, to catch and um, to, to level up, evolve and all that sort of stuff. So the dens will make that a little bit of an easier process for us. But I am really hoping, hoping and praying that we get some good, like extra additional events throughout the month of August because the Whale Lord event was nice. Um, but it just goes to show that, you know, at the minute, I think everyone's feeling a little bit like, come on, we need we need some more better events. We had such great events uh, from the run up of the release of Sword and Shield right through. And uh, it would be nice to kind of keep on track with how they went. You know, the GMAX Toxicity event, we had the Snorlax event, and I know they're running out of Pokemon, but new Pokemon to do events with. But there is plenty still to do. And we still haven't had that G-Max Mel Metal, which is the one I'm holding out for. So hopefully we get that before Crown Tundra. Let me know down in the comment section which uh, G-Max or which Pokemon you'd love to see in the events. As usual, I love hearing and reading through these comments from you guys asking and saying what you would like to see. But um, we'll leave it there. I think that's everything that I want to cover. I don't want to really drag this on too much longer. We've probably went on long enough. Have a good, well, have a good time hunting these new max raid events throughout august my friends and make sure if you do enjoy this sort of content to drop a like on the video do subscribe to the channel if you are new and if you want to keep up to date with any update uh, like any events that do pop up make sure you do subscribe hit that notification bell because i will be covering any special events on top of this throughout the month of august as well as all the other max raid event updates throughout um the time that we'll be playing this game so uh just make sure because the the shiny whale lord was running for three days and i know a lot of people missed that so if you don't want to miss those sort of events make sure you do subscribe hit that notification bell and i will make sure to cover them for you so on that note i am gonna end it there have a great rest of your day take care of yourselves thanks for tuning in and i'll see you all for the next one so until then bye bye